In this video, I'm going to talk about solving systems of nonlinear equations using elimination. Okay, so how do you know when it's a good idea to use elimination and to not use uh, substitu substitution? Well, um, elimination is particularly good when you have um, a variable with the same degree in both equations. Okay. So x is squared here and x is squared there. So elimination is going to be a good choice for this system. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with elimination. So to do elimination, um, let's let's see. I want to maybe I want to eliminate this x squared. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll maybe I'll take this equation and I'll subtract off this equation. So I'll write that over here. So x squared plus y squared equals 27. And let's do on the bottom, let's multiply everything by negative 1. So that'll be negative x squared plus 2y equals negative 3. Okay, so now these cancel. And then you're left with y squared plus 2y equals 24. All right, um, or in other words, y squared plus 2y minus 24 equals 0, right, if I subtract 24 from both sides. So now I can solve for y. Um, let's factor this. All right, if it wasn't factor, if it wasn't easily factorable, we could, you know, use quadratic formula or something like that, but this is easily factorable. So let's think of two terms. When you multiply them together, you get negative 24, and then when you add them together, you get plus 2. So that's going to be plus 6 and minus 4. So let's go ahead and set y equals 6 equal to 0 and y minus 4 equal to 0. If either of those equals 0, the whole thing goes to 0. So this would be y equals negative 6 or y equals positive 4. Okay, so now I can use back substitution to uh, find the corresponding value for of x. Um, so let's start with y equals negative 6. So um, I can choose you know, either of these equations. I'll go ahead and choose this, the second one I just underlined. So I'll have x squared minus 2 times negative 6 equals 3. x squared plus 12 equals 3. Subtract 12 from both sides. x squared equals uh, negative 9. Oh, there's no value of x that's going to make that true. Okay, so y equals 6 actually is not a, it's not going to get a solution because there's no value of x that's going to work. So y equals 6 is not a solution. All right, and then let's go ahead and try y equal 4. So I'll have x squared minus 2 times 4 equals 3. So that's x squared minus 8 equals 3. Add 8 to both sides. So... Um, x squared equals 11. This is, uh, that means that x equals plus or minus the square root of 11. Okay, so there's two points. Uh, y, I mean, x can equal negative square root of 11, and y is 4. So that's one point, that's the solution. And then also positive 11, square root of 11, and 4, that's the second. All right. Um, Let's go ahead and do one more example. All right, and now in this example, we're still going to be using elimination because we have y squared and y squared. And so we have at least one, um, one term or one um, variable with the same degree. So in this case, it's y. x is not of the same degree. We have squared and x. But I can eliminate this y because it's in the same degree. So I'm going to use the elimination method. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my variables over to one side. So I'll have x squared, subtract y squared from both sides. And then I'll have x minus um, y squared equals 3. All right, and then um, I'm going to take the first equation. So I'm going to try to eliminate y squared by subtracting off the second equation. So do negative 1 times all these terms. So negative x plus y minus 3. Okay, now I'm these cancel, and I'm left with x squared minus x equals negative 2. Let's go ahead and bring that negative 2 over to the other side. Plus 2 equals 0. 
Okay, now is this easily factorable? Are there two numbers that I can multiply them together and get po positive two? And then when I add them together, I get negative one. Um, I can't, let's see, I can't think of, so the factors of two are um, one and two, negative one and negative two. Right, and neither of those add up to positive or negative one, right? This adds up to negative three and this adds up to three. So instead of factoring, I have two, I have two more choices. I can either use um, pleading the square, I can use a quadratic formula. I'll go ahead and I'll use the quadratic formula. So I'll have x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by. 2a, okay, so b here is 1 plus or minus the square root of uh, 1 minus 4 times a, which is also 1, and then c, which is 2, okay, and then this is 2 times a, which is 1, so b plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 8 over 2, and so we get 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 7 over 2. Alright, square root of a negative number is not a real number, so there is no solution to this, um, no solution to this system, or you could say your solution is the null set.